Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes, your shares. Thank you to all the newbie and the OG subscribers for sticking around. You guys are awesome. Today we're going to pull a couple cards from the Halloween Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. And we'll just see what guidance spirit has. It may or may not resonate, and you know, um, unless maybe it might spark something else. We'll go ahead and read from the book too because I just love the stories in it. Spirit, what guidance do you have for the general collective at this time? For whom I, whomever it will resonate for, one of the times it is divine. Thank you so much. Wow, two immediately popped out. And we have Cauldron, Synergy, and Healing. And we have Owl, Wise Seeing, Wise Action. Cauldron, synergy, and healing. Where all things come together, under pressure, flow full synergy, a new thing is created, a crucible of infinity. A typical depiction of a witch sees her standing over a bullying cauldron, slowly stirring the bubbling and mysterious contents. As she stirs the enormous metal pot over the raw, fr raw flames, she cackles and encants some commands to all the elements, transforming the contents into something magical. Cauldrons were commonly used in ancient and medieval times for everything from the nightly meal to the making of medicines, all of which are alchemy, by the way. This family crucible was usually placed within the hearth of the home, making it an essential part of the gathering of family. Much healing and nourishment came from the cauldron. Should you receive the cauldron card, it indicates the importance of combining a variety of techniques or elements to get the best result. Do not put all your eggs in one basket. Refuse to choose just a single rigid pathway when a, ver a variety of ways are there to be enjoyed and experienced. You can find your own ways to create something new. The cauldron is a deeply transformational tool. Things change once they are put under pressure. Resilience is being cultivated over time, and this means that you will be able to withstand any negative pressure much more healthily from the inside out. Owl. Let's see here. Wise saying, wise action. Silent, winged, and wise, all-seeing creature of the night, show me the way. I will follow you in flight. Owls have for thousands of years been part of folklore and have been considered a special or sacred animal. With their huge forward-facing eyes and otherworldly appearance, they have been seen as both wise and as harbingers of the supernatural. There are many hundreds of species of owls and almost all are nocturnal and carnivorous. Interestingly, they all have specially designed feathers that enable them to fly silently at night giving them incredible hunting advantage, sort of like having a stealth mode. Many deities were said to be able to change into owls, and perhaps the most famous was the Greek goddess Athena, who was famous for her strategy and intelligence. To this very day, the capital city of Greece, Athens, has Athena's owl as its symbol. Should the hooting owl come looking for you this Halloween, it indicates the need for wise counsel or further information before you make a decision. Considered action is warranted. Think before you act emotionally and ensure you think strategically, not impulsively. So what I'm getting from these two cards is it may be time to diversify your healing methods and modalities. There are many ways to go about doing things to balance your mind, body, and soul. And the owl would indicate not only to use your discernment, but your intuition as well. And really look into these modalities and see what will work for you and what's healthy for you. All right, guys, have a great day.